In the grand tapestry of the universe, speed is the ultimate frontier. The boundless darkness of space stretches out before us, an expanse of stars and mysteries waiting to be explored. But the vastness of this universe presents a challenge to us, a challenge defined by distance and time. Though light races across space at nearly 300,000 kilometers per second, even it is not fast enough to traverse the vast emptiness between stars in a human lifetime. Light from the nearest star, Proxima Centauri, takes over four years to reach us. And to travel to other galaxies? It would take millions of years. We are bound by the limits of time, shackled to our slow crawl through the cosmos. Yet, what if there was a way to break free from these limitations? A way to transcend the speed of light and cross the vast ocean of space in a heartbeat? What if, by manipulating the very fabric of space-time itself, we could create shortcuts across the universe? Today, we will explore a concept that, if ever realized, could shatter everything we know about space travel. A theoretical device, a structure so remarkable it defies our understanding of the possible. A Tipler cylinder, named after physicist Frank J. Tipler, this hypothetical construct could unlock the mysteries of faster-than-light travel, even time travel, by bending space and time to our will. But what if we could actually build it? Imagine this. A cylinder so vast, it stretches infinitely in both directions. Now, imagine it spinning at speeds approaching the speed of light. As it spins, it doesn't just move through space. It warps the very fabric of space-time. In Einstein's theory of general relativity, space and time are not separate entities, but a single, interconnected fabric that can be twisted, stretched, and folded by mass and energy. When massive objects move, they create curves in this fabric, bending space-time around them. This curvature is what causes gravity, and it's how planets orbit stars and light bends around galaxies. Now, imagine the Tipler cylinder. Its relentless spin causes such a powerful distortion in space-time that it creates loops, closed time-like curves that wrap around it. These curves are paths through space and time that could, theoretically, allow something to travel faster than the speed of light, or even travel back in time. This is no ordinary distortion. It's a deep, profound manipulation of the very structure of the universe itself. To us, it seems like something out of science fiction, but in the cold language of physics, it is a possible, but mind-boggling, outcome of the equations of general relativity. And therein lies the beauty and the mystery of the Tipler cylinder a tool that might let us transcend time and space as we understand them, rewriting the rules of the cosmos. But how close are we to making it a reality? What would it take to build such a structure? Building a Tipler cylinder may sound like a task for gods, but in theory, it is possible. The scale alone is beyond our wildest ambitions. This isn't a small structure we're talking about. We're imagining a cylinder that stretches across the galaxy longer than any object humankind has ever constructed. Its dimensions would dwarf any human endeavor to date, longer than the distance between the stars themselves. And it would need to spin at a speed close to that of light, far beyond any engineering capacity we currently possess. Consider the material demands. To construct a cylinder that could withstand the immense forces generated by such extreme rotation, we would need resources that go beyond anything we can mine on Earth. Perhaps we would turn to asteroids, or even entire planets, to harvest the exotic metals and materials required. And yet, this is only the beginning. For the cylinder to warp space-time as predicted, it would require something extraordinary what physicists call exotic matter. 
This strange form of matter would have negative energy density, the opposite of what we are accustomed to. Ordinary matter exerts positive energy and attracts other matter through gravity. Exotic matter, on the other hand, would exert a repulsive force, something that could keep the space-time distortions from collapsing in on themselves. Without it, the entire structure could unravel, like a carefully woven tapestry torn apart by its own threads. The science needed to create and harness exotic matter is still purely theoretical. And while we may be far from understanding it, the concept sparks a tantalizing possibility for the future. But imagine for a moment that we succeed. Imagine the unimaginable. The Tipler Cylinder opens the gates to the stars. It's not just about faster-than-light travel. It's about time travel. A device like this could allow us to cross the expanse of the cosmos in the blink of an eye. Travel to distant stars would no longer take thousands of years. We could traverse the vast gulf between Earth and the nearest star systems within a matter of hours or days. More than just exploration, the Tipler Cylinder might make the impossible possible. With it, we could journey into the past, visiting long-forgotten civilizations, or even witnessing the birth of stars and planets. Imagine traveling to the distant future and seeing the rise of humanity's descendants. What mysteries could we unlock in the future of the universe? Could we change history, or perhaps only observe it, caught in the fragile dance of time? But the consequences of such power are not without their shadows. A tool capable of bending space and time could also open doors to untold risks, risks we might not yet fully comprehend. Time travel, once thought to be an impossibility, introduces paradoxes that challenge the very fabric of reality. The grandfather paradox is one of the most famous. If you were to travel back in time and prevent your own grandfather from meeting your grandmother, would you still exist? If you were never born, how could you go back and change history? This paradox is just the beginning. What other distortions of the timeline could arise from such reckless use of the Tipler Cylinder? Moreover, there are risks to the very nature of the universe itself. Could tampering with time destabilize the fabric of space-time? The sheer amount of energy required to spin the cylinder could create dangerous side effects. What if the fabric of space-time became too warped, collapsing into a singularity, a black hole, or worse? Could we inadvertently unravel the universe itself, creating a cascade of destruction that reaches beyond our understanding? And let's not forget the ethical implications of such power. With time travel, we could alter history, but should we? The temptation to rewrite the past, to undo tragedies, or to reshape the future is a dangerous one. What if our interference led to unintended consequences, throwing the universe into chaos or forever altering the course of human evolution? The dream of traveling beyond the stars has captivated humanity for centuries. And though the Tipler Cylinder may seem like an impossibility, it challenges us to imagine a future where space and time no longer limit our reach. It offers the promise of a universe wide open to exploration, a cosmos where the boundaries of what we can achieve stretch far beyond our present understanding. But as with all great power, the question remains, how will we use it? The Tipler Cylinder could be the key to the stars, to time, and to human progress, but only if we are wise enough to wield it with care and responsibility. For every advancement, there is a price. What will we risk to explore the unknown? What lines will we cross in the name of discovery? The universe is vast, and we are just beginning to understand its secrets. The Tipler Cylinder, if it can ever be made real, might one day make the stars our home, but it will also force us to confront the deepest questions of our existence.
What happens when we break free of the constraints of time? What truths will we uncover as we journey through the fabric of the cosmos? The future of humanity is written in the stars, and perhaps, with the Tipler Cylinder, we can finally reach them.